Hello, welcome back, guys. Welcome back, and we are here with this same error science problem that we have given to you last day. Um, let's solve this problem together. Let me zoom in a bit a bit. Uh, so the problem asks you to uh, find the certain value k, the largest value k for which um, for which this term, this very weird and big term that is given over here. Let me scroll down. Uh, log to log to it's applied k times over and over again uh, of b where b is defined uh, in this manner uh, we have to you have to find the value for this k the maximum value for this k such that this is defined this thing is defined so uh, we will uh, the step number one is to give a good name uh, to this um, give a good name to this function. So log uh, two applied, if log two is applied k times, k times, uh, let's call that, let's call that LK, the big LK. So this whole function together, let's call it big LK. And if you call that big LK, then big l k of b this is what this function is all about where b is defined in this manner uh, so we need to find the largest k for which l k of b is defined that means let me go to the next page that means what does it mean it means that l k of b is defined if and only if understand it very carefully lk of b is defined if and only if what b is greater than zero uh, so not b sorry so what is lk if you observe lk of b is nothing but log 2 of lk minus 1 of b right so therefore this is defined if and only if l k minus one of b is greater than zero similarly l k of uh, minus one of b is nothing but log base two of l k minus two of b right and therefore this is defined if this is greater than zero if this is greater than one the underworld term is greater than one so it's an if and only if it's even only if it's even only if lk minus two of b is greater than one so this is super important an equation that you will see how it's important it is so therefore we get the condition that lk of b is defined that is what we are looking for so this is how, how we have defined as uh, LK of B. So this is defined. This is what we are looking for. The K for which it is defined. If LK minus 2 of B is greater than 1. This is what we are looking forward to. So when is this LK uh, minus 2 of B? So let's do another thing. Let's understand the equality of the equation. The Reconciliation first. Just give me a minute. Yeah. So what is the reconciliation? The reconciliation is I think T of N plus one is twice T of N. This is the reconciliation over here. And if this is a reconciliation, observe that log two of T of N is nothing but T N minus one base to log base 2. So if you apply it over again, so log 2 of log 2 of Tn is nothing but what? Tn minus 2. So if you observe, that's a small exercise for you now, show that Lk minus 2 of Tk minus 2 is equal to 1. Why? If you apply it over, over again, at one time it will go to log of 
like t of 1 and then again you take a log 2 of that because t of 1 is 2 over here if you take a log 2 or log 2 over that t of 1 again you will get that this equal to 1 that's exactly what we are getting so a little short work for you can be show that lk minus 2 of this tk minus 2 is equal to 1 show this okay i will just uh, give you a few minutes to think about it show this that lk of minus 2 of tk minus 2 is equal to 1 and you have to show you have to find the condition the maximum k for which lk minus 2 of b is greater than 1 that means if you observe it very carefully it boils down to this thing that you have to show that lk minus 2 of b is equal to is greater than greater than 1 which is equal to lk minus 2 of tk minus 2 the largest k for which it happens and therefore since lk is a is log composition log composition log composition log you will get that lk is a is an increasing function so it turns out that it is equivalent to saying that lk minus 2 of b is greater than lk minus 2 of tk minus 2 is same as since the increasing function is same as saying is saying that b is greater than tk minus 2 okay for which k for which largest k for what largest k this happens so let's write down what b is b is nothing but b is nothing but this one t of two zero zero nine whole to the power t of two zero zero nine whole to the power t of two zero zero nine This is greater than some t of something x. That x we are going to find. What is that x? So the required k will be x plus 2. So let's try to find this inequality out here. For which x this inequality holds? So we know this thing that t of n is nothing but twice to the power n minus 2 n minus 1 sorry right so this is an increasing function in n right you can understand it's increasing it's 2 then it goes to 2 to the power 2 then it goes to 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 okay sorry like this yes it's an increasing function in n so you can understand that p of 2 0 0 n is always greater than 2 that you can easily understand right so this implies that for this t of 2 0 0 n is greater than 2 then let me just zoom it you will understand it much more specifically and then usko upore t of 2 0 0 n hai let all, that also be greater than 2 and iske upor aur ek okay let me just yes so just give me a minute so for the red one we have got this two for the blue one we have got this two and then there is another two over here another t of two zero zero in power n. so you have this the good thing is that you know that t of n is nothing but two to the power t of n minus one so you get that this is nothing but two of t of two zero one zero and this is nothing but t of two zero one one so we get that this x is nothing but 2011 and this is b this is greater than t of x we have found the, uh, this out and therefore therefore the largest k for which among the options okay among the options largest k for which among the options it the server for x is equal to nothing but 2011 which is equal to k minus 2 so we get the largest among them is k is equal to 2013 which is in the option but you can easily understand we have approximated it by we have taken the inequality that t of 2009 is greater than 2 which is a very very loose bound so i believe you can make it a better one 
That's the idea. So what I suggest is the homework as an exercise that you can come back and you can make a better bound. Find the largest K, not among the equations. So among this, you will get largest K, 2013. You can give a better bound. You can give a better bound than this. So find out, find this out for which K you think it's the best. So find this out. All the best guys. I hope you enjoyed the problem. And if you like this problem discussion, do support our work by sharing, liking, and telling your friends and all the best. And yep. Bye-bye. And we'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay blessed.